हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम एट मैट्रिक्स हाई स्कूल यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ एम ओ एफ पेपर दैट वॉज हेल्ड ऑन थर्टीन नवंबर एंड आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ फिजिक्स पेपर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम इन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन दैर इज ए लिकिंग टाइप दैन इज सिंपल बैंडलम एंड देन सेड ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग द डे एंड स्लीप टाइम ड्यूरिंग द नाइट ओके that uh, if i'm talking about that simple bundle and so its time period is so the time then it can be used set of an object during the day in ancient time that is used in sundial and an elicking tape also can be used for the measurement of time but if i'm talking about the sleep time during the night it can't be used for measurement of time because it varies from uh, for individuals so for first question our answer will be d option now let's come to the question number second Question number second: A spaceship travel sixty thousand kilometers in hundred minutes. Express its speed in kilometer per hour. So, if I'm talking about that uh, speed, so speed is equals to distance upon time. And here is the distance that is sixty thousand kilometer. But that the value of the time is given in minutes. Okay, just convert this that value in uh, hour because we have to find that speed in kilometer per hour. So that hundred minute will be equal to hundred upon sixty hour because in one hour how many minutes are there? Sixty minute. So in one minute how many hour will be there? That will be one upon sixty hour. Okay, now just put the value that is hundred. That is sixty. This is. Hour, then, so it will be three thousand six thirty-six thousand kilometer per hour. Now let's come to the question number three. In question number three, starting from A. belly moves along uh, a rectangular path abcd as shown in uh, figure c takes 2 minutes to travel each side what type of motion belly is moving on so it is moving from a b c d it start from a then uh, b then c then d and that is 10 meter and it's a rectangular shape so it will be 10 minute uh, 10 meter as well as it's uh, 5 then it will be 5 and it takes 2 minutes for each side so the time taken by the belly that is 2 minute if i am talking about the speed of the belly from a to b that is 2.5 meter per minute and here that is 5 meter per minute so the speed of the belly is not constant so belly is doing non uniform motion so for third question our answer will be d option now let's come to the question number 4 in question number 4 uh, which of the following distance time plot will define the motion of belly so that is 5 this is 10 and here speed is of course the time taken by her that is 2 minutes so here uh, speed will be 2.5 meter per minute and here will be 5 meter per minute and the path along which she is traveling that is a to b then b to c then c to d okay so uh, so which uh, uh, graph will show that the correctly motion of that belly that will be a to b that is this then b to c the speed is increased so this is then it's get sound then this then it's again just increase that this so for fourth question our answer will be b option now let's come to the question number 5 the beaker of 1 liter capacity contains 1 liter water and and a formant in heat energy then the transfer of heat energy will be as follows it has 100 joule that b contains has uh, 30 calories and then c has 50 calories So if I'm talking about the one calories, 
and in one calorie is how many joules are there there are 4.2 joule and uh, i can say that as 4.186 joule so if we convert these values so c will have 50 into 4.2 joule and it will be have 30 into 4.2 joule so the heat energy will be transferred from c to b then b to a so for this question our answer will be c option now let's come to the question number six in a mercury thermometer the level of mercury rises when its glass bulb comes in contact with a hot object how does the glass bulb transfer heat inside the thermometer so which method of that heat energy is used uh, transfer of heat energy is used there it is conduction its convection its radiation or all of the above is used there so in that case that conduction is used so for sixth question, our answer will be A option. Now let's come to the question number seven. The degree of hotness or coldness of a body is, if I'm talking about the degree of hotness or coldness of an object, that is just the temperature of that object. So for seventh question, our answer will be A option. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the MOF answer key for class seventh of subject chemistry. Our first question is, which of the following is an acid-base indicator? Option A, vinegar. Option B, lime water. Option C, turmeric. And option D, baking soda. Here the correct answer is turmeric because it is an acid-base indicator which is tell whether it is an acid or it is a base. In acidic, it remains same that is yellow in color and in, in base, it gives red color. So here, option C is correct. Next question is, selective breeding is a process of selecting the offspring with desired properties. Option B is selecting the parents with desired properties. And option C is selecting an area for breeding. And option D, selecting fine hair for good quality wool. Option A, C and D are incorrect. Option B is correct here. That is, selective breeding is a process of selecting the parents with desired properties. Match the following column, column 1 with column 2. Tartaric acid is present in unripe mangoes, calcium hydroxide, lime water, formic acid is present in ant sting, sodium hydroxide, soap and lactic acid is in curd. So P is correctly matched with 3, Q with 5, R with 4, S with 1 and T with 2. So the correct answer is option B. Next question is, what are the four stages of the silkworm? Option A, egg larva, pupa adult. Option B, seed larva, pupa adult. Option C, seed larva, moth adult. And option D, egg pupa, moth adult. Option B and C are incorrect here because the first stage is the egg, not seed. So look at the option A and D. First of all, the four stages of the silkworm are first stage is egg. Adult moth give eggs on a mulberry leaf. So the first stage is egg. And in the stage 2, egg will convert into the larva. And when the larva eat day and night continues, it will convert into the caterpillar. And in stage 3, it will convert into the cocoon or pupa. And in the last stage, that is in stage 4, there is an adult moth. So here the correct sequence is egg, larva, pupa and adult moth. So option A is correct here. Next question is, this is also the same question of like of question number 11 that they eat day and night and can increase in enormously in the size or name as option A, caterpillar, option B, honeybee, option C, butterfly and option D, none of these. So, this is the correct answer here is caterpillar. They can eat day and night and increase in enormously in size are caterpillars. So, A is correct here. 
द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेन द सॉइल इज टू बेसिक प्लांट डू नॉट ग्रो वेल इन इट द इम्प्रूव इट्स क्वालिटी विट मस्ट बी एडेड टू द सॉइल वेन द सॉइल इज टू बेसिक वी हैव टू न्यूट्रलाइज द सॉइल सो वी मस्ट बी एडेड हेयर द एसिडिक कंपाउंड so in all the four option organic matter is in acidic in nature so we must add organic matter in the soil to neutralize it because soil is too basic so the option a is correct here organic matter thank you hello students today i will discuss the mo paper solution of class 7 science part 3 biology our first question is Which of the following raw material is available in the air for photosynthesis? As we all know that photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food. They use carbon dioxide plus water plus sunlight and chlorophyll is the pigment which is present in the leaves of the plant. So the, our most correct option will be carbon dioxide. It is given in the option B. so the correct answer will be option b next question is the enzyme present in the saliva convert as we all know that salivary amylase is the enzyme which is present in the saliva and it is responsible for the conversion of starch into simple sugar so the most appropriate answer will be option b next question pitcher plant is a example of pitcher plant is the plant which take insects for the fulfillment of nitrogen it is a insectivorous plant option a is the correct answer next question elements of weather first is temperature humidity rainfall and all of these weather is the for short effect and as we all know that temperature humidity and rainfall all these are the elements of weather so the most correct answer will be option d next question match the following columns column 1 and column 2 first is liver as we all know that liver secretes bile juice stomach in stomach hcl is released and hcl is a acid salivary glands salivary glands are responsible for the secretion of saliva large intestine large intestine is responsible for the absorption of water now move to the options liver resembles with the third p resembles with the third is given only in one option so the correct answer our will be option c now move to the stomach stomach resembles with the acid release salivary gland is resembles with the saliva secretion and large intestine is responsible for the absorption of water so the correct option will be option c next question penguins are adapted to live in as you all know that penguin is an animal which adapt in the environment cold region and that region is known as polar region so the correct option will be option b next question bile juice is stored is as we all know that bile juice is the juice which is responsible for the emulsification of fat it is secreted secreted by liver and stored in gall bladder so the correct option our will be answer option a gall bladder thank you hello everyone let's begin with the fourth part of this paper that is of mathematics and the first question of this paper is question 21 that is the additive inverse of 14 divided by minus 7 multiply minus 6 is now we have to apply the bond mass rule and we have to solve bracket first so here in this bracket it is written that 14 divided by minus 7 so this gives negative 2 now negative 2 multiply by negative 6 will give us positive 12 and the additive inverse of positive 12 is negative 12 so according to question option c is the correct answer now let's solve question number 22 temperature of a hill station at a particular time is positive 17 degree celsius 
it falls down by 3 degree Celsius every hour. It means decrease in temperature in 1 hour is equal to 3 degree Celsius and it is falling down. It means we have to write it in the negative form. So, it is negative 3 degree Celsius. What will be the temperature after 8 hours? Now, we have to find out first the decrease in temperature in 8 hours. So, if the temperature is decreasing 3 degree Celsius in every hour. So, in 8 hours we get negative 3 degree Celsius multiplied by 8 is negative 24 degree Celsius. Now, we have to find out the temperature after 8 hours if the temperature is 17 degree Celsius at a particular time. So, according to question we can say that 17 degree Celsius plus negative 24 degree Celsius. So, here the temperature will be negative 7 degree Celsius. So, the temperature will be negative 7 degree Celsius after 8 hours. So, here According to option, we can say that option B is the correct answer. Now, let us solve the next question that is question number 23. Subtract the sum of negative 570 and negative 130 from the sum of negative 1500 and 1200. So, here we have to subtract the sum of negative 570 and negative 130. These two terms from the sum of negative 1500 and positive 1200 these two terms. So, here the sum of these two terms is negative 700 and the sum of these two terms is negative 300. According to question we have to subtract negative 700 from negative 300. So, we have to write down negative 300 minus minus 700. So, here negative 300. Now, negative negative is positive, positive 700. Now, the correct answer is 400. So, according to question, we can see that option A is the correct answer. Now, the next question is, a person travelled 5 upon 8th of the distance by train, 1 upon 4th by bus and the remaining 15 km by boat. The total distance travelled by him was. Now, we have to find out the total distance. Now, let it be x. A person travelled 5 upon 8th of the distance means 5 upon 8x by train. Next is 1 by 4x by bus and the remaining 15 kilometer by boat. Now, the total distance is x. Let us find out it is 7x upon 8 minus x equal to minus 15. Here, so it is x is equal to negative 15 multiplied by 8. So, here we get negative x is equal to negative 120 that is x is equal to 120. So, here according to question we can say that option B is the correct answer. Now, let us begin with the next question that is question number 25th. A tanker contains 500 liters of water. Due to a small hole in the tanker, the quantity of water is decreasing at the rate of 9 liter every hour. Now, here we have the total water 500 liter and it is decreasing at the rate of 9 liter every hour. So, what will be the quantity of water left in the tanker after 10 hours? So, let us find out first what is the 
the level of water after 10 hours 9 multiplied by 10 that is equal to 90 liter so decrease at the rate of 9 liter every hour we get after 10 hours 90 liter decrement in the water so here total quantity is 500 liters minus 90 liters we get 410 liters so the quantity of water after 10 hours will be 410 liters so option a is the correct answer now the next question is the sum of 3 4 upon 5 plus 2 7 upon 10 plus 4 8 upon 15 is we have to solve this part let's convert it into the improper fraction first it's in upon Now the next step is take the LCM of 5, 10 and 15, we get the LCM 30 and now that is equal to 331 upon 30. So option B is the correct answer. Now the next question is question number 27. A farmer has 192 animals. So total number of animals a farmer has is 192. 7 upon 16 of animals are cattle. Now 7 upon 16 multiply by 192. So the number of cattle are Seven multiply by twelve that is equal to eighty four. So there are total number of eighty four cattle. Now two third of cattle are dairy cows. Now if we talk about the cattle, two upon three cattle means two upon three multiply by eighty four, which will give us one hundred sixty eight upon three that is equal to fifty six. So, how many dairy cows he has? We have to find out the dairy cows. So, total number of dairy cows we have is 56. So, option C is the correct answer. Now, the next question is question number 28. By selling tickets for rupees 52, 1 upon 2 each, the money collected was rupees 5,512, 1 upon 2. Find the number of tickets sold. Now let the number of ticket be x. So here according to question we can write down x multiply by 52 1 by 2 that is equal to total amount that is 5512 1 upon 2. Now let us solve it here it is 1 up 105 x upon 2 that is equal to 1102 upon so here the value of x is so the value of x here is 105 now according to option option a is the correct answer now let's solve next question that is question number 29 if 11 upon 12 is equal to 1 upon 6 plus x upon 6 plus 1 upon 12 then x is. Now we have to find out the value of x here. So let us transpose all the term 1 upon 6 will be now negative 1 upon 6 negative 1 upon 12 is equal to x upon 6. After taking the LCM we get 11 minus 2 minus 1 x upon 6 here we get twelve. that is x upon 6 x is equal to 
6 multiplied by 4, 6. So, the value of x is 4. According to question, option D is the correct answer. Now, the next question is question number 30. Find the reciprocal of the sum of 1, 7 upon 9 and 1, 2 upon 7 is. Now, let us find out the sum of 1, 7 upon 9 and 1, 2 upon 7 is 16 upon 9 plus 9 upon 7. Now, taking the LCM of 9 and 7, we get 63. Here, we get 112 plus 81. So, the answer is 193 upon 63. We have to find out the reciprocal of the sum. So, reciprocal of the sum is 63 upon 193. So, the correct answer is option D. Now, the next question is question number 31. Runs scored by a batsman in 4 matches are 27, 83, 64 and 56. If he scores 75 runs in the 5th match, then his average score will. Now, first of all, let us calculate the average of 4 matches 27 plus 83 plus 64 plus 56 upon so, here we get 230 upon 4 that is equal to 57.5. Now, if we add the fifth match score in the previous one, it means 230 plus 75 upon 5 that is equal to 305 upon 5 which gives us 61. Now, 61 minus 57.5 that is equal to 3.5. So, here we can say that his average score will increase by 3.5. So, option A is the correct answer. Let us begin with the next question, question number 32. The average of the marks in maths of 100 students in a class was 72. So, here we have to use the formula of mean that is equal to sum of all observation upon total number of observations. mean is given to us that is 72 observation is 100 so the total marks of all student is 7200 this is our total marks of all students now we will find out the total marks of boys so, here mean is 75 equal to sum upon 70 that is 75 multiplied by 70 equal to total marks of boys that is equal to 5250 is the total marks of boys now we have to find out the mean of marks of girls so we have to subtract total marks of boys from the total marks of all students to get the total sum of total marks of girls so here 7200 minus 5250 upon 30. So, here we get 950 upon 30. Total strength of girls is 30 because total students are 100, 70 are boys. So, 100 minus 70 is 30. So, total number of girls are 30. Here Total number of observation is 34 girls. 
Now the answer is after cancellation we get 65. So here option B is the correct answer for question 32. Now the next question is question number 33. So here question says that from a series of 50 observation an observation with the value of 45 is dropped but the mean remains the same. What was the mean of 50? observations. Now, we have to find out the mean of 50 observations. So, here we know that the formula of mean is equal to sum of all observation upon total number of observation. So, here let the mean be m Sum of all observation means A1 plus A2 plus A3 so on till, till A50 upon total observation is 50. Now, let the 50 observation A50 observation be 45 as an observation with the value 45 is dropped. So, we have taken A50 is equal to 45. Let us take observation A1 to A49 B X. So, here A1 plus A2 plus A3 and so on plus A49 is equal to X. So, in place of this all observation, let us place X plus 45 upon 50. So, here we get one equation 50 m is equal to x plus 45. Now, if an observation is dropped, then what is the mean? Here, mean is m. For 49 observation, the same process a1 plus a2 plus a3 so on till a49 upon 49th observation. So, here mean is equal to x upon 49 as we have taken a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on till a49 is x. Now, 49 m is equal to x. This is the second equation. This is our first equation. Now, putting the value of x in equation 1, we get 50 m is equal to 49 m plus 45. So, 50 m minus 49 m is equal to 45. The value of m is equal to 45. Therefore, the mean is 45. So, option C is the correct answer. Now, let us solve Next question that is question number 34. Sony hard digit cards 1, 4 and 7. She makes 2 digit numbers using each card only once. The probability that a 2 digit number chosen at random is divisible by 2 is. Now, we have to find out 2 digit number that is made by this 3 digits. That is 1, 4 and 7. So, here first number is 14, 17, 41, 71. Then you can say that 47 and 74. So, there are total 6 numbers made by this 3 digits. The probability that a 2 digit number chosen at a random is divisible by 2. Now, we have to find out a number that is divisible by 2. So, here 14 is divisible by 2 and 74 is divisible by 2. So, we have to find out the probability and we know that probability of an event is equal to favorable outcome upon total number of outcome. So, here favorable outcome is 2 and total outcome is 6. So, after reducing this term, we get 1 upon 3. So, the probability 
is 1 upon 3 that is option A. So, here option A is the correct answer. Now, let us begin with the next question that is question number 35. A batsman scores 80 runs in his 6th inning and thus increase his average by 5. What is his average after 6th inning? Now, we have to find out the average after 6th inning. So, let us take the initial average B x. Now, in the 6th inning, it increased by average 5. So, initial average plus 5 in the 6th inning. So, we will multiply it by 6. Now, we have to find out the average after the 6th inning and here it is given that a batsman score 80 run. It means in the 5th inning and in the 6th inning, the difference between these 2 innings is 80 runs. So, here we are going to subtract the average of 5 innings that is equal to 80. Why we have taken 80 here? Because it is the difference between these 2 innings. So, here we get 6x plus 30 80 minus 30. So, x is equal to 50. It means the initial average was 50 and after adding 5 in the initial average, we get 55. 50 plus 5 is equal to 55. So, according to question, we say that option B is the correct answer. Now, the next question is question number 36. The given double bar graph shows the sale of mobile phones and cars from 2005 to 2008. Now, the first question asked from the bar graph is find the ratio of the total number of mobile phones sold in 2006 and 2008 to the total number of cars sold in 2005 and 2007. Now, let us calculate the total number of mobile phones sold in 2006 and 2008. So, mobile phone is the darkened part 2006 and 2008 we have to calculate here. This line is indicating the number of mobile phones and cars sold in 1000. So, here this is 40,000 plus 40,000. So, we get 80,000. So, total number of mobile phones sold in 2006 and 2008 is 80,000. Now, the total numbers of cars sold in 2005 and 2007 is here 80,000 and here it is 50,000. So, here it is 80,000 plus 50,000 which give us 1,30,000. Now, the ratio of these two number is 80,000 upon 1 lakh. 30,000. So, the ratio is 8 ratio 13. Now, in the second question, it is asked that what is the average number of cars sold from 2005 to 2008? Now, we have to find out the average of number of cars. So, here in the 2005, we get 80,000 in 2006, we have 70,000. In 2007, we have 50,000. And in 2008, we have 90,000. So, to find out the average, we know that 
the formula of average is sum of all observations upon total number of observation. So, here the sum of 80,000, 70,000, 50,000 and 90,000 is 2,90,000 divided by total number of observation that is 4. So, here we get 72,500. So, here option A is the correct answer. Let us solve next question that is question number 37. 4 is added to a number and the sum is multiplied by 5. If 20 is subtracted from the product and the difference is divided by 8, the result is equal to 10. The number is, now we have to find out the number. To find out the number, let us take the number x. Now, let us read the statement again that is, 4 is added to a number. Let us add 4 to a number and the sum is multiplied by 5. Now, 20 is subtracted from the product minus 20 and the difference is divided by 8. The result is equal to 10. So, this is the equation. Now, we get 5x plus 20 minus 20 upon 8 that is equal to 10. So, here x is equal to 16. So, here answer A is the correct answer. Now, the next question is question number 38. Thrice a number when increased by 6 gives 24, the number is. Now, we have to form the equation that is thrice a number. Let the number be x. So, thrice a number is 3x plus 6 is equal to 24. Now, 3x is equal to 24 minus 6. 3x is equal to 18. x is equal to 6. So, here the correct answer is option A that is answer 6. Now, let us solve question number 39. In question number 39, we have x minus 1 upon x plus 1 equal to 7 upon 9 then the value of x is we have to find out the value of x so here let's solve by cross multiplication method 9 multiply by x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 multiply by 7 now here 9x minus 9 is equal to 7x plus 7 now x term one side and constant term on another side. Here we get 2x is equal to 16, x is equal to 8. So, here the value of x is 8. So, the correct answer is option C that is 8. Now, the next question is a man is 3 years older than 4 times his son's age. 5 years ago, he was 10 times as old as his son. Find the present age of son. We have to find out the present age of son. So, here let the age of son be x. Now, the age of man will be a man is 3 years older than 4 times his son. 4 times is son means 4x plus 3. So, x is the age of son. And this is present age of man. Now, 5 year ago. Now, let us subtract 5 from both the ages. 
he was 10 times as old as his son. Now, this will be 4x minus 2. Now, according to question, 10 times as old as his sons means 10 multiplied by x minus 5 is equal to 4x minus 2 is the required equation. Now, we have to find out the value of x. Six x is equal to forty eight. So here the value of x is eight. Therefore, we can say that the age of son is eight years. So option D is the correct answer. Now the next question is question number forty one. In this question, the angle between the two hands of a clock at 4.30 p.m. is. We have to find out the angle between the two hands of the clock. Now, we know that clock is in the circular shape. Now, for 4.30 pm our hand is in between 4 and 5 and minute hand will be at 6 now a complete rotation is equal to 360 degree we know that when the our hand or a clock hand will take a rotation it will have 360 degree angle and in a clock there are 12 parts so we are going to divide 360 by 12 to get the angle between two numbers so here 360 divided by 12 is 30 degree it means the angular distance between the two numbers is 30 degree so distance so the angle between 1 and 2 is 30 degree 2 and 3 is 30 degree 3 and 4 is 30 degree, 5 and 6 is 30 degree. Like this, we know that the angular distance between the two numbers is 30 degree. Now, distance between 5 and 6, we have 30 degree. But the R hand is in between 4 and 5. So, we have to take the mid of 30. It means... 30 is divided by 2, we will get 15. So, to calculate the angular distance, we have 30 degree plus 15 degree. So, we will get 45 degree. So, the angle between two hands of a clock when the timing is 4.30 pm is 45 degree. So, according to options, we say that option A is the correct answer. Now, let us move on to the next question that is question number 42. The difference in the measure of two complementary angles is 24 degree. Find the measures of the angles. We have to find out the measures of the angle. We know that complementary angles are the angles whose sum is 90 degree or we can say that the sum of two angles is equal to 90 degree are called as complementary angle. So, let the angle bx and the another angle be 90 minus x. So, here the statement is the difference in the measure of two complementary angle is 24. It means we have to subtract 90 minus x from x that is equal to 24 degree. Now, x minus 90 plus x is equal to 24 degree. Here we have 2x is equal to 24 degree plus 90 degree. We get 114 degree upon 2. So, the value of x is equal to 57 degree. It means one angle is 
57 degree. Let's find out the another angle that is 90 minus x. While putting the value of x, we get 90 minus 57 that is equal to 33. So, here the option C is the correct answer that is 57 degree and 33 degree. Now, let us solve 43. In the given figure, if angle R is 43 degree, means this angle is 43 degree, angle RST, RST, this angle is equal to 94 degree, angle T is 32 degree, this is angle T, that is 32 degree, find the angle P. This we have to find out angle P. Now, from this figure, we can observe that angle TSR is an exterior angle. So, we can say that angle TSR is equal to angle SQR plus angle SRQ as angle TSR is an exterior angle. So, angle Q will be 94 minus 43 that is equal to 51 degree. So, angle Q will be 51 degree. Now, angle TQR is the exterior angle of triangle TPQ. So, we can say that angle TQR is equal to sum of two interior angles that is angle TPQ and angle PTQ. So, here TQR is 51 degree, TPQ we have to find out and PTQ we already have that is 32 degree. So, 51 degree minus 32 degree is equal to 19 degree. So, we get angle P is equal to 19 degree. So, according to question, option D is the correct answer. Now, let us move on to the next question that is question number 44. In the given figure, angle POQ is a line. PQO is a line. It means it is 180 degree. If angle X is equal to 30 degree, here angle X is equal to 30 degree. Then, Q O R, Q O R means we have to find out this angle is. So, here P O Q is a straight line that is 180 degree. So, we can say that 30 degree plus 2 y plus 3 y is equal to 180 degree. Here 30 degree plus 5 y is equal to 180 degree. 5y is equal to 180 degree minus 30 degree which gives us 150 degree. So, y is equal to 150 divided by 5 that is equal to 30 degree. Now, putting the value of y in ROQ angle we get 3 multiplied by 30 degree that is equal to 90 degree. So, according to question option A is the correct answer. Let us move on to the next question that is question number 45. QP is parallel to TS. QP is parallel to TS. Now, this is the parallel line. We are going to extend this line. Then, value of angle PQR. PQR is, we have to find out the value of this X. Now, we have extended TS line so that PQ is parallel to the extended line TS. So, here 
angle q is equal to this angle let say this point o now angle q is equal to angle o that is alternate interior angle so here the inside angle will be 180 degree minus x and if we talk about this interior angle in triangle rso this is 180 degree minus 2x so according to angle sum property of triangle we can say that 180 degree minus 2x plus 180 degree minus x plus 36 degree is equal to 180 degree so after solving we get 360 degree minus 3x plus 36 degree is equal to 180 degree now minus 3x is equal to 180 degree minus 360 degree minus 36 degree so here we get minus 180 degree minus 36 degree upon minus 3 that is equal to x after calculating this we get minus 216 upon minus 3 let's cancel out so here after solving we get x is equal to 72 degree if this angle o is equal to 72 degree angle q is equal to angle o as they both are alternate interior angle so 72 degree is the value of x now according to question we can say that option c is the correct answer now the next question is question number 46 The three angles of a triangle are 3y, comma 2y plus 60 and 5y minus 40 degree. Find the value of y. Now applying the angle sum property of triangle, we get 3y plus 2y plus 60 plus 5y minus 40 is equal to 180 degree. the sum of three angle is equal to 180 degree now 5y plus 5y plus 20 is equal to 180 degree here we get 10y is equal to 180 minus 20 y is equal to 160 upon 10 So here the value of y is sixteen. So according to question, option C is the correct answer. Let's solve the next question. That is question number forty-seven. Perimeter of a triangle is now we have to find out the perimeter of this given triangle. Now here we can see that in the figure we have three medians C, F, B, E, and A, D. now the options are less than sum of its three medians second option is greater than sum of its three median equal to sum of its three median none of these now we have to find out the perimeter as we know that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than twice of its median drawn on the third side so AB plus BC is greater than twice the median BE. This is first step. Then second is AB plus AC is greater than twice AD. This is second one. and the last one is ac plus bc is greater than 2cf 
Now, adding this 3, we get twice A B plus B C plus A C greater than twice B E plus A D plus C F. Now, after cancelling 2, we get 3 sides is greater than sum of 3 medians. So, option B is the correct answer, greater than sum of its 3 medians. Now, the next question is question number 48. Find the measure of U y if triangle X y z is congruent to triangle U y w. Now, we have triangle X y z that is congruent to U y w. So, we have to measure y, U y. This side we have to measure. Now, if the two triangles are congruent, it means all the sides and all the angles are equal. So, here yz is equal to yw means yz is equal to yw. It means this is 24. So, this is also 24. Now, if we talk about xy is congruent uy. So, here x y is congruent to u y, it means 26 is equal to u y that is 26. So, we can say that option D is the correct answer. Now, in question number 49, refer to the figure shown, Bob lives in Salzburg, this is the Salzburg, does his grocery shopping in Richmond and sees a doctor in Thornville. What is the measure of the angle formed when Bob travels from Salzburg means from here to Richmond and then to Thornville here. So, we have to find out the measure of this angle. We know that sum of three angles is equal to 180 degree. So, here 110 plus 32 plus let the third angle be x is equal to 180 degree. So, we get 142 degree plus x is equal to 180 degree, x is equal to 180 degree minus 142 degree that is equal to 38. So, we can say that option C is the correct answer. Now, the last question of this part is question number 50. Guy wires create two congruent triangles, triangle PQR and triangle SQR. Find the length of side QS. We have to find out the length of this side. So, here in this question, it is said that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle SQR. It means all the sides and all the angles of these two triangles are congruent to each other. So, we can say that PQ is equal to QS. If PS is 24, then we can say that PS is equal to PQ plus QS. And PQ is equal to QS. So, we are going to replace 1 PQ by QS. So, QS plus QX is equal to 2 QS. So, here PS is 24. Now, 24 divided by 2 is equal to QS. So, we get 12. So, we can say that QS is equal to 12 feet. That is option A. So, here option A is the correct answer. I hope you all understood all the solutions of this part. Thank you. Hello, my dear students. My name is Akash Chaudhary. I am your reasoning mentor. Today we are discussing Matrix Olympiad paper class 7 part 5th of logical reasoning. Let us start from question number 1st. 
एज यू सी दो क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द मिसिंग नंबर आवर सीरीज इज सिक्स थ्री सिक्स एटीन सेवेंटी टू वॉट इज नेक्स्ट थ्री टू सिक्स इंटू टू सिक्स टू एटीन इंटू थ्री एटीन टू सेवेंटी टू इंटू फोर देन वी डिवाइड इंटू वाई फाइव सेवेंटी टू इंटू फाइव दैट इज फाइव टू या टेन फाइव सेवन या थर्टी फाइव एंड वन इज थ्री सिक्सटी आवर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द नेक्स्ट टर्म आवर सीरीज इज बी जी ई जे एच एम के पी वॉट इज नेक्स्ट इफ इट नोट द रैंकिंग्स ऑफ दीज लेटर टू सेवन फाइव टेन एट थर्टीन इलेवन सिक्सटीन टू टू फाइव प्लस थ्री फाइव टू एट प्लस थ्री एट टू इलेवन प्लस थ्री इलेवन टू प्लस थ्री फोर्टीन फोर्टीन मीन्स एन सेवन टू टेन प्लस थ्री टेन टू थर्टीन प्लस थ्री थर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन प्लस थ्री इफ वी एट थ्री दैट इज नाइनटीन नाइनटीन मीन्स एन एस आवर आंसर इज एन एस ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राहुल रैंक फिफ्टींथ फ्रॉम द टॉप एंड थर्टी फर्न फ्रॉम द बॉटम इन अ क्लास हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर एज यू नो द नंबर ऑफ टोटल फॉर्मूलाज टॉप प्लस बॉटम माइनस वन टॉप फिफ्टीन प्लस थर्टी वन माइनस वन फिफ्टीन थर्टी वन माइनस वन इज थर्टी थर्टी प्लस फिफ्टीन इज फोर्टी फाइव आवर आंसर इज फोर्टी फाइव ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सुनील रैंक्स नाइन्थ फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट इन अ क्लास ऑफ थर्टी बॉयज वॉट इज द रैंक ऑफ सुनील फ्रॉम राइट एज यू नो द फॉर्मूला राइट प्लस लेफ्ट माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू टोटल इफ वी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ राइट लेफ्ट इज ऑल्सो गिवन नाइन्थ माइनस वन टोटल नंबर ऑफ पर्सन इज गिवन थर्टी नाइन माइनस ए वन इज एट इक्वल थर्टी इफ वी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ राइट थर्टी माइनस एट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ वॉच रीड्स फाइव फोर्टी फाइव इन द मिनट एंड पॉइंट टू साउथ इफ वी मेक अ क्लॉक दैट इज ट्वेल्व दैट इज सिक्स थ्री नाइन वन टू फोर फाइव सेवन एट टेन इलेवन फाइव फोर्टी फाइव मीन्स आर एंड एंड दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव मिनट That is minute end. If this is south, that this is north, this is east, and this is west. If we find the direction of our end between north and east, our answer is north east. North east option B is correct answer. Our next question is fifty six, fifty two, divide four. प्लस फाइव इंटू एट माइनस टू इक्वल डिवाइड मीन्स माइनस फिफ्टी टू माइनस फोर प्लस मीन्स इंटू फाइव इंटू मीन्स प्लस एट माइनस मीन्स डिवाइड इक्वल इफ एट इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू देन फिफ्टी टू माइनस फोर इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर फिफ्टी टू प्लस फोर इज फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पी मीन्स प्लस क्यू मीन्स माइनस आर मीन्स इन टू इफ वी टेक द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सिक्सटीन आर ट्वेल्व क्यू सिक्स एस टू पी सेवनटीन इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सिक्स R means into sixteen into twelve. Q means minus six. S means divide two. P means plus seventeen. Six is divided by two. Sixteen into two, twelve six are seventy two. Twelve plus seven is ninety. 
माइनस सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू थ्री प्लस सेवनटीन थ्री इज सब्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम सेवनटीन वन नाइनटी टू प्लस फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस टू सिक्स नाइन प्लस टेन वन टू टू जीरो सिक्स आवर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज सेटिस्फाई ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द मेर इमेज आर एस सो दिस वे ई एन टी आर ई टी दैट इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द वॉटर मेर इमेज इफ बी सो बिटवीन वॉटर इमेज इज बी टी डब्ल्यू ई एन बी E T M डबल E N ऑप्शन C इज करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज चूज द फिगर विच मोस्ट क्लोजली रिजेंबल द अनफोल्डेड फ्रॉम फिगर इफ दिस फिगर इज फोल्डेड दिस टाइप एंड दिस इज सो दिस वे एंड दिस इज सो दिस वे ऑप्शन फोर्थ इज करेक्ट आंसर 